to all of you. Today, we are assembled here to listen to a lecture under the V. Balambal Memorial Endowment. Balambal, with due respects to her, was the wife of <clears throat> the revered V. Krishnaswamy Iyer, whose contribution to Indian culture, Sanskrit literature, religion, etc. cannot be matched by anyone. And Balambar Madam shared many things for the welfare of the society. In her memory, this lecture, this endowment was instituted under other poets day. Usually, this is held during the Shivaratri. And today, we are having this talk by Dr. B. Emuna Devi, presently Assistant Professor of Sanskrit at the Kupuswami Shastri Research Institute. Dr. Emuna Devi did her schooling graduation and post-graduation in Sanskrit in Bengaluru. Then after marriage, she came to Chennai and came to the Kupuswami Sastra Research Institute to do MPhil and thereafter PhD. And for her MPhil, she chose Paniniya Udaharana Kavya. And for her PhD, she has taken the commentary of Chira Swami on Amarakosha, which was subsequently published in two volumes by the Karnataka, Karnataka Historical Society, Dharbad. She had participated in innumerable seminars and conferences in various parts of India. And also, she has published many research articles in various journals. And she has also been engaged in guiding many MPhil and PhD scholars at the KSRI. She's also in the research committee of the PhD program at the University of Madras, Presidency College, Loyola College, Madras Sanskrit College, etc., etc. And she's also in the syllabus committee. And she has earned a reputation within a span of a short time due to her proficiency and approach to the people, very amenable, very simple, and a very sound scholar. And we thank you, Madam, for accepting to talk on this occasion. And she has chosen to talk about another great scholar of the previous century, namely Mahamahopodhyaya Lakshmana Suri, who has contributed immensely with his original writings in prose, poem, dramas, etc. in Sanskrit. And of course, she would be talking more about him and his uh, works. Even KSRA has published the, some of his books. And um, he was a well-known scholar in South India. His son, C. T. L. Venkatramayar, was this judge in the Supreme Court, as well as a very well-known musicologist who was given Sangeeta Kalanidhi and other awards. And Lakshmana Suri was indeed such a great scholar and one candidate, Dr. Roma Maheshwari, did her PhD under Professor Tyagarajan of Presidency College 
on the works of Professor Lakshman uh, Mahamobadiya Lakshman Suri and uh, Dr. Yamuna Devi would talk more about it. And once again, I welcome you all for this talk on Mahamopadhyaya Lakshman Suri, his life and works by Dr. Emuna Devi. And let us listen to Dr. Emuna Devi. We hope we'll all be benefited. Thank you. And over to Professor Emuna Devi. Guru Reva Gatihi, Guru Meva Bhaje, Guru Naiva Sahasmi Namo Gurave, Naguro Paramam Shishurasmi Guru Ho, Matirasti Guru Mamapahi Guru. I thank the Sanskrit Academy, uh, Dr. Professor Srinivasan Sir, uh, Dr. Balsubramaniam Sir, TVD Sir, Vasudeva Sir, for having given me this opportunity to talk on Mahamahopadhyaya M. Lakshmana Suri. So uh, I was given the chance of talking about other poets and I chose uh, Pandit Lakshmana Suri for, I was introduced to Lakshmana Suri's Bharata Sangraha through the Surasaraswati Sabha exams conducted by the Shringeri Math. So from the young age, I had a great affinity towards this poet and I wanted to study more of his works. And I chose this topic. So I thank the academy and uh, the secretaries, Sita Madam, and especially my guide, uh, Dr. Kameshwari Madam, who has been a constant support throughout my career. And once again, I would like to thank Dr. Tyagrajan sir also as mentioned by Bal Subramaniam sir, uh, his candidate had done a critical study on the contribution of Mahamahopadhyaya Lakshmana Shastri to Sanskrit literature. And Tyagarajan sir was kind enough to allow me to see through, go through the thesis. And he also sent me one of the articles written by himself, uh, a critical uh, note on the commentaries of uh, Lakshmana Suri. All these helped me to know more about Lakshmana Shastri. So thanking all of you, I would like to start. Uh, please share the screen, Dr. Preeti. Uh, yes, sharing, just a minute. Okay. Yeah, it's visible now. Thank you. Next screen, please. Next slide. Pandit M. Lakshmana Surya Shastri lived from 1859 to 1928. Next slide. It is interesting. Actually, I wanted to first do only on the prose works of uh, uh, the author. But when I went through the catalog, uh, catalogus catalogarum, I came about one interesting fact. Next slide, please wherein it is recorded that Lakshmana Suri lived between 1859 to 1919. So this created some curiosity and I wanted to clarify why there was a discrepancy in the date. And since now we have all technology and access to all books and other things, it was easy for us to uh, clarify and get the date confirmed that he lived from 1859 to 1928. And also in the NCC, uh, only about 21 works of uh, the author is listed. Whereas we have about 39 to 40 works of Lakshmana Suri available. And a few of them in manuscript form is also mentioned. So this lecture, I will be dealing with all these works. Next slide, please. Mahamahopadhyaya Lakshmana Suri is a great poet who lived just a century ago. So fortunately, some necessary details about the author and his life is available firsthand as recorded by the author's second son, Justice, Justice T.L. Venkat Ramayar, who was Supreme Court judge, and his dear student, Shri K. Balsubramanya Iyer. Uh, he, uh, he is the son of our uh, um, 
founder of Sanskrit College, Madras Sanskrit College, V. Krishna Swami Iyer. Next slide, please. Pandit M. Lakshmana Shastri hails from an illustrious scholarly family of Tirunelveli. He was born in the year 1859 in the village of Punalveli near Shivilli Puttur, Tirunelveli district. So this is confirmed from one of the most of the commentaries uh, written by uh, Lakshmana Suri on the dramas have a similar uh, color form. Pati Rashaila Kanya Jayati Taram Jagati Tamra Parni Isa Avarodha Bhumi Satya Piratna Karataya Yaiva Sindhu Patehe Tasyas Tatek Draharo Harike Shavanalluritya Bikyataha Vasta Vyastatra Punalveli Shri Muddu Subba Kavitana Yaha Naidhruva Kashya Gotro Lakshmana Sure Vyadatte Mam So goes the color phone. So he was the son. His father was Muttasubba Ayar, or very famous as Muttasubba Kavi, who was also a scholar both in Sanskrit and Tamil. Next slide, please. And proficient in two shastras, namely Vedanta and Vyakarana. He was also the author of a Sanskrit work by name Samshipta Ramayana, which was published by Lakshmana Suri himself. And he is also authored a Tamil work. Uh, Vedanta Nataka and Vedanta Kirtana. These are works of Mutta Subha Iyer. Next slide. Mahamahopadhyaya Lakshmana Shastri was also well versed in Sahitya, Vyakarana and Vedanta. He was a pupil of Subha Dikshitar of Tadayan, a well-known scholar. He was appointed as a Sanskrit Pandit in the year 1896 in the St. Peter's College, Tanjore and continued there till the year 1907 when the college department was closed. So this closing of the department has been there from early 19th century. During this period, the late Mahamahopadhyaya Kupuswami Shastrigal was a student under him. Kupuswami Shastri uh, Research Institute, which is uh, founded by uh, in honor of Kupuswami Shastri, he was also a student of Lakshmana Shastri. The title Suri and Mahamahopadhyaya. So at the Vidvat Sadas held in the year 1903 on the occasion of the visit of Sir Keshe Shadri Iyer, Divan of Mysore to Tanjore, the Karikas to the 10 Upanishads written by Lakshmana Suri was read and in recognition to their merit, the Divan of Mysore was pleased to confer the title of Suri on him. Ever since, he is known to the scholars' world as Lakshmana Suri. He was also conferred the Mahamahopadhyaya by the then government, the British government of India, in the year 1911. V. Swaminatha Iyer, who was the district Munsef at Satur, was in contact with Mahamahopadhyaya Lakshmana Suri even before 1900 and was much appreciative of his scholarship. He then gave a letter of introduction to his brother Sri V. Krishnaswami Iyer at Madras. It was from that time that the, his association with Sri Krishnaswami Iyer began, which grew to greater intimacy. Sri V. Krishnaswami Iyer was an ardent admirer of poetic genius of Pandit Lakshmana Suri. He gave great encouragement to the poet to compose many of his works, which we'll, I'll be quoting wherever uh, necessary. Dr. Huls, the ger great German scholar, when he was the government epigraphist here, he discovered the first two acts of an unknown drama called Parijata Manjari, inscribed on granite slabs. He sought the assistance of Dr. Lakshmana Suri to reconstruct the text, which was in part mutilated, and also asked him to write a commentary on the work. Even after Dr. Huls retired from his post and went to Germany, he was having great correspondence in Sanskrit with Pandit Lakshmana Suri. Shrike Bal Subramanyaya records that I have had the privilege of seeing many of the letters which Dr. Huls wrote in genuine appreciation of the scholarship of Pandit Lakshmana Suri. So after 1907, um, he came to Chennai and he was employed as a pundit in the Pachepas College and continued there till 1920 when he retired. After retirement, he de delivered discourses on the and 
Vedanta Sutras in many places in South India. He passed away peacefully, much to the regret of many of his pupils and friends on 17th May 1928. This date was also confirmed uh, with the Hindu obituary. They have an obituary on uh, the author, Lakshmana Suri, on 18th May of 1928. So about his personal life, it is recorded that the author had three sons of whom T.L. Venkatram Iyer, the judge of Supreme Court, was well known as a musicologist too. It was already mentioned by Bal Subramaniam sir. He has published a few works of his father. She, father, Shike Bal Subramaniam also remarks that uh, Mahamohopadhyaya Lakshmana Suri was of a gentle and amicable disposition and led an austere and pure life. He was poor and had a large family to support, but he always maintained the standard of plain living and high thinking. These are the words of K. Bal Subramanya, uh, his dear student. The Advaita Darshana series comprising the Karikas of the Upanishads are the first and prime contribution of Mahamahopadhyaya Lakshmana Suri to the literary field of Sanskrit. This was followed by many poetical compositions and commentaries contributing to almost all the genre of Sanskrit literature. So the list of works of Mah uh, Lakshmana Suri reveals all the um, all his proficiency and his kavitva. So first starting with philosophy, Karikas on the Dashopanishad, Dasho it's uh, uh, composed during uh, before 1903. So Ishopanishad Karika and Mundakopanishad Karika, uh, I was not able to get any of the copy of these books, but next slide, please. Uh, the opinion of Mahamahopadhyaya, uh, Brahmashri Tyagaraja Dikshitar, well known as Mannar Gudi Periva, is this Isha, the Upanishad, Artha, Bhagavat Padiya, Bhashyam, Anusritya, Lakshmana Kavina, Vibrutaha, Shlokair, Anushtubhair, Anaghaihi, Katipaya, Padyani, Ashrunvam, Anavadyani, Tatra, Krishtamanaha, Thali, Pulaka, Nitya, Sarvanyeva Anvamasi Santiti Upanishad Artha Punyo Bhagavat Padiya Suktirapi Punya Tat Anusmaranam Punyam Sarva Vidham Punyam Atishete Shrimati Champaka Vipine Krita Vasati Styagaraja Kyaha Sammati Patra Sammati Patram Adikshal Lakshmana Vibudhaya Dikshita Varenyaha So uh, he is highly appreciative of uh, Lakshmana uh, Shastri's uh, Karikas on the Isha and Mandukya Upanishad. Uh, next slide, please. Another uh, certificate given by Ambika Patiraj from Colombo. He also says that the Mundaka Upanishad Karika, Mandukya Upanishad Karika in particular, seems to me to be valuable introduction which prepares the student to the study of the Acharya, Sri Gaudapada and Sri Shankara. So many, many, next slide, please. Many scholars were appreciative and they have given certificates uh, to Lakshmana Suri, Brahma Shri, Balakrishna Shastrigal, Sheshadri Shastrigal, Raja Ravi Verma of Kerala, all have uh, written note and these are available in the introduction of Bhishma Vijaya. Next slide, please. So the uh, next uh, two works on philosophy are Sutrapta Sampurna and Padmanabha Dashakam. This Padmanabha Dashaka is said to be a summary of the Vedanta. These two books are also not available. Next slide. Coming to the commentaries of uh, Pandita Lakshmana Suri, he has written uh, five important commentaries on drama, starting from Anarghara of Murari, Uttara Ram Charika of Bhavabhuti, which is called Sarala commentary, Mahavira Charika of Bhavabhuti. He has given Ujjwala commentary on it. And Balaramayana of Rajashekara was also commented upon. And Veni Samhara has Chudamani commentary written by Lakshman Suri. Again, Dr. Hulls has given a beautiful uh, note in the Indian antiquary about these commentaries. Sri Lakshmana Suri is a worthy successor of Malinatha. His commentaries are full and learned, 
but at the same time clear and practical and assist not only the beginners but advanced students in understanding difficult verses next slide please so in anarga ragava he gives vyakhyanam anarga ragava nataka tatparya sarvaswam the name of the commentary and every colophon has the name of the author his uh, uh, about his personal details whatever is available he it is similar in all the natakas next slide please and coming to parijata manjari of madana the first two acts for which he has written a commentary it is uh, given here by rules that he had requested pandita lakshmana suri to write a commentary and for which he had uh, immediately consented and written the commentaries next slide please coming to the uh, other commentaries are on vamana's kavya alankara sutra vritti he has given a small portion a commentary on a very small portion which was published by the madras university for during the 19 early 19th century and uh, sorry early 20th century on the 10th chapter of mammata's kavya prakasha and there is a commentary available for the first two uchvasas of harsha charita and a commentary on tilaka manjari all these were text portions during 1909 next slide please so coming to the individual works again of pandita lakshmana suri the dramas next slide mainly it consists of delhi samrajya this was written in 1912 the imperial delhi a historical drama it is an historical drama in five acts the author takes of its subject the grand world fame and rare incident of the imperial darbar at delhi a historical and political event of his own times as the theme of this nataka with daya rasa uh, um, as the main rasa the hero is his imperial majesty george v as daya veera and very few female characters like her imperial majesty queen mary are all the characters the book also has the photographs of the royal family and some important ceremonial and historical happenings at delhi all these are there in the delhi samrajya uh, nataka book it's very interesting to go through and most of uh, one more thing about lakshmana suri was he was fortunate to be very popular during his own times all his books were parts of uh, syllabus in the university and uh, he had many patrons so he has dedicated this book to his excellency uh, next slide please <clears throat> the paulastya vadha is another drama written and published in 1914 this is a nataka in six acts based on ramayana the character of rama the great is well couched in a single verse i am just giving a sample of um, verses wherever possible danam kare padatale cha teertham bahau jaya shreer vachane cha satyam this is about rama so danam kare padatale cha teertham ahilya vrtanta bahau jaya shreer hi vachane cha satyam lakshmi hi prasade pratighe cha mrutyu ho etani ramasya nisarga jani so again this is a very simple verse giving all the virtues and characters of rama in a single verse coming to sita there is a beautiful verse where sita appeals to agni deva when she is asked to do the agni pravesha so tvam pavako si bhagavan asijata vedah shuddhi para tvam adishodyam hai na samcha अनवद्यम उत इतर the ghosha yatra is also known as yudhishthirasya andrashamsyam 
this was published in 1917 based on the vanaparva chapters 238 to 247 in the mahabharata this drama is in four acts duryodhana under the pretext of going on a ghosha yatra in the dvaitavana resolves to go and see the misfortunes of the pandavas and gloat over their trouble and display and flaunt in their faces his royal luxuries and splendors so that is the theme of the drama mamapi hi mahan harsho yadaham bhima palgunau tishtavaranye pashyayam krishnaya sahitaviti so this defines what duryodhana is or the character of duryodhana so written with the express object of it being staged by the subuna vilas sabha of madras the premier amateur dramatic association of madras presidency so this drama was especially designed for um, staging it in this um, suguna vilas sabha so high moral lesson is again depicted in a single verse here santyeva kama upakarishu sadushilaha kim taikrute pratikrutena nake bhajanti vandyas tayeva purushaha sukrudiva yesham vrittir dvishatyapi hitaya yatha karunam so it is a very beautiful verse where lakshmi shastri says it is not uh, a wonder that one would find people who are the good to who, those who are good but it is vandyaha those people are to be really honored and uh, to be saluted those who treat even their enemies vipatsu api dvishat dvishati api suhrudiva yesha so they treat even the enemies as their own friends yatha karuna just as the trees he says so another reflection of uh, life is seen in the next verse lokottare pi vastuni mahima nodeti sannikarshasthe divyausha divyaushadim api kova bahu manute nishkute rudham so kollel irukra there is a saying in tamil so what we have in our house uh, whether even if it is a great aushadi there is no value so also when good things are around us very near in our hand we don't know its value so that is well reflected in this beautiful verse next slide so next genre to where we go on to mahakavyas there are two mahakavyas authored by lakshmana shastri uh, pandita lakshmana suri one is the krishna leela amrita this book i was not able to get the next one is bhagavat padabhyudaya which is published in 1927 so this is the last work published by uh, lakshmana suri and this was the last work authored by him uh, this uh, gives an account of the life of shri adi shankara acharya and the poet has divided his poem in two parts one part dealing with shri adi shankara acharya's life and the other part dealing with his thought the work available now deals with the life of shri shankara acharya in nine sargas so the last sarga uh, the two verses before uh, concluding is he prays he salutes adi shankara acharya with this beautiful verse apare gabhire bavabdhau nimagnam vinaykam gurum kastam samuddhartumi iste atastvam prapannasya medina bandho vilambam vinadehi hastavalambam just like hastam hastavalamba stotra he has uh, given a beautiful verse in bhagavat pada abhyudaya asking the guru to bless us all next slide please there are many lagu kavyas written authored by lakshmana shastri the vipra sandesha was published in 1906 the first it is a poem in 108 simple verses it's a message to krishna by rukmini according to c ambika patiraj kolumbo there are many verses of literary beauty and poem from beginning to end and it is enlivening and delighting to the mind this work is i could not get all these works manas sandesha is one i could get next slide please this manas sandesha is a description of the vijaya yatra of the then shringeri acharya 
ஸ்ரீ ஸ்ரீ அபினவ சச்சிதானந்த நரசிம்ம பாரதி சுவாமி டு திருநெல்வேலி டிஸ்ட்ரிக்ட் இட் வாஸ் பப்ளிஷ் இன் நைன்டீன் நாட் நைன் திஸ் ஒர்க் அகெய்ன் இஸ் இன் டூ பார்ட்ஸ் பூர்வ பாகா அண்ட் உத்தர பாகா வித் ஃபார்ட்டி வர்சஸ் இன் பூர்வ பாகா அண்ட் தேர்ட்டி செவன் வர்சஸ் இன் உத்தர பாகா ஒன் பியூட்டிஃபுல் வேர்ஸ் டிஸ்கிரைபிங் நரசிம்ம பாரதி சுவாமி இஸ் ஆச்சாரியிங் ஆச்சாரியூசஸ் ஸ்ரீ நரசிம்ம பாரதி சுவாமி இன் திஸ் பர்ஸ் அண்ட் ஹி கோஸ் ஆன் டு டிஸ்கிரைப் தி பியூட்டிஃபுல் த பியூட்டிஃபுல் பிளேசஸ் இன் அண்ட் அரவுண்ட் திருநெல்வேலி டிஸ்ட்ரிக்ட் வேர் தி சுவாமி சுவாமி ஹேட் ஹேட் ஹிஸ் விஜய யாத்ரா ஸோ அனதர் பியூட்டிஃபுல் வேர்ஸ் டிஸ்கிரைபிங் நெக்ஸ்ட் லைக் பிளீஸ் பாப்பநாசம் டெம்பிள் இன் திருநெல்வேலி இந்த பூர்வ பாகா விசி தீர்த்தம் தத்ர பிரபோர் அதிவச அதிவசேத் பாபநாசாதிதானம் சித்தாவாசம் ஷபரணிகரை சோபிதம் பஞ்சவர்ணை நிம்னே ஸ்ரோத்தி நிஜத்தலோத்ராஹியூத புனரபி சிவௌ எத்திர கல்யாண வேஷௌ சோ தி பாபநாஷ வேர் அகஸ்தியா ஹேட் தி தர்ஷன ஆஃப் சிவாஸ் கல்யாண உற்சவ தட் இஸ் அகெய்ன் டிஸ்கிரைப் இன் திஸ் பியூட்டிஃபுல் வேர்ஸ் சிவௌ தத் எத்திர கல்யாண வேஷௌ ஆவிர் பூத்தௌ பை தி அபிலாஷா ஆஃப் அகஸ்தியா இஸ் வெல் பிராட் அவுட் ஹியர் இன் திஸ் வேர்ஸ் ஸோ நெக்ஸ்ட் கண்டினியூயிங் ஸோ வெங்கடேஷ ஸ்தவ அண்ட் குருஸ்தவ மாலா ஆர் மென்ஷன் இன் தி கேட்லாக்ஸ் ஆஃப் பீஷ்ம விஜயா விச் ஆர் செட் டு பி ஆத்தர்ட் பை லக்ஷ்மண சாஸ்திரி and uh, karunaka is an elegy which is written in 1911 the author as i had already mentioned he was deeply attached to the krishna swami ayer the founder of the madras sanskrit college uh, both of them spent a lot of time together and uh, dr and k balsubramanian ayer son of the krishna swami ayer and the student of lakshmana suri records that uh the conversation between the two that is uh, krishna swami ayer and lakshmana suri was itself an education to the hearers they spoke on many aspects of sanskrita literature shri v uh, krishna swami ayer gave unstinted support and encouragement to the pandits scholarly activities so great was his affection to shri v krishna swami ayer that on the occasion of his death in december 28 1911 lakshmana suri soro took the form of an elegy called the karunaka this book is also not available if anybody is having please uh, forward it to us next slide please the lagu kavya's list goes on gayatri ramayana which is in sadhara meter akshara malika ramayana uh, these two were published and the rest are in manuscript form shivanamastava chittanushasana anyapadesha guru papa uh, guru kripa patra and uh, brahma mimamsa ramayana and prapanna vibhishana or vibhishana sharanagati this vibhishana sharanagati uh, is was published and it is in two parts again purva bhaga and uttara bhaga with 69 and 34 verses respectively in each in prithvi meter next slide please so next is the george deva shataka in 19 not line 1911 this was written in 1911 it was indian coronation ode so during the time of coronation of george v in 1911 the government of madras requested lakshmana shastri to write an ode on the uh, uh, coronation of george v This poem was also translated into English and it was read on the occasion of the celebration of coronation at Delhi and in various centers at Madras. The government of Madras was pleased to give him an honorarium and in recognition to the merit of his poem they awarded a certificate of honor to him. 
so the certificate is here. Next. Coming to the prose works, it is very interesting um, that uh, Lakshmana Suri has created a new trend in prose literature. So realizing the importance of prose works in simple Sanskrit to be read by students of Sanskrit, Mahamahopadhyaya Lakshmana Suri wrote the prose works. His prose style is simple and lucid and at the same time vigorous and grammatical as we shall see. A little further. Bharata Sangraha, Ramayana Sangraha, and Nalopakyana Sangraha are uh, three Sangraha works. The Bhishma Vijaya is uh, uh, very interesting on the uh, life. He's sketching the life of Bhishma from Mahabharata, he takes and he gives a beautiful prose work. Vidura Charita and Durvasa Bhanga are uh, next uh, two other prose works. So Nalopakhyana, even in the year 1907-1908, the Board of Studies in Sanskrit of the Madras University, the chairman of which at that time was Sir P. S. Sivaswami Iyer, and one of the members, Sri V. Krishnaswami Iyer, prescribed these three prose works, namely Bhartha Sangraha, Ramayana Sangraha, and Nalopakhyana for the then matriculation examination. The Bhishma Vijaya was written in 1909. So soon after founding the Ranade Library, Sri uh, V. Krishnaswami Iyer had outlined a plan for the publication of a series of books resembling the English men of letters on some of the great ancient characters of our country. A series of lectures also were delivered under, under the auspices of the Ranade Library on Bhishma, Yagnavalka and others by eminent pundits. In pursuance of this plan, he requested Pandit Lakshmana Suri to write a short work giving an account of the life of Bhishma in Sanskrit. So in 1909, this work was published and was dedicated by him to the Honorable Justice Late V. Krishnaswami Iyer. It was prescribed as a textbook in the university for BA degree examination for the year 1912. Next slide, please. Vidura Charita was proposed to be published in the journal in the Sanskrit journal Sahridaya. So this all we do not know if it was published. Durvaso Bhanga or Durvaso Bhiksha contains several verses adapted to music written for the purpose of Harikatha. So apart from this, he has also written a Prakrit guide for the use of college students. So when we see the Natakas, Delhi Samrajya and other Natakas written by Lakshmana Suri, all the female characters um, again talk in Prakrita and the Prakrita is also very beautiful. So it is a uh, fine uh, app that he has written a Prakrita guide for college student. Even this book is not available now. Since we are very close to the author, not even 100 years from 1928 from his demise, I think it's time for us to um, get these books and uh, preserve for future. Now coming to Sangraha works. So how much time can I take more? Yes. So coming to the Sangraha works, previous slide, I would deal more on the prose works of Lakshmana Shastri. So first taking the three Nalopakhyana Sangraha, Ramayana Sangraha and Bharata no, no, Sangraha. You have, sorry, Peter, you have more than 20 minutes. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you. So, uh, what is Sangraha? It is defined in Shabda Kalpa Druma as Samchepena Grihyante Nana Sthane Viprakirna Arthaha Budhyante Anena Sangraha. And there is one more Vistaren Upadishtanam Arthanam Sutra Bhashe Yoho Nibanda Yaha Samasena Sangraham Tam Vidur Budaha. So, next slide, please. We see how beautifully Lakshmana Shastri has uh, condensed uh, or concisely given the story of Nalopakyana, Mahabharata and Ramayana in his three works. So all the Lakshana of uh, a Sangraha is uh, followed uh, in his work. And not only does he concise, he, his poetic skills are also very evident in all these works. So Nalopakyana Sangraha is in three bhagas. 
uh, it is actually the source is Adi Parva uh, Nalo, of Mahabharata, Nalopakhyana Parva, chapters 53 to 79. So about uh, 26 chapters he has, uh, Adhyayas he has condensed. And uh, Bharata Sangraha, the work is again in 18 Parvas. It is in accordance with uh, Vyasa Mahabharata's 18 Parva. The 19th one is a Bhagavad Dandaka, which is also very beautiful. We will see it later. And Ramayana Sangraha is again in seven Kandas. Only a portion of it is available in our uh, research library. So I could not get the full Ramayana Sangraha. So I've taken only Nalopakhyana and Bharata Sangraha here. Next slide. So going to Nalopakhyana Sangraha, the author begins with a beautiful prayer. Yat prasadena vachasam prasadadi gunodayaha. Savir bhavatu vagdevi mai vacha prasannaya. It's a salutation to Goddess Saraswati. And he begins his work of uh, Nalopakhyana. The Prathama Bhaga narrates the development of love in Nala and Damayanti, ending with their marriage and birth of a son and a daughter, both named Indrasena. So, we and here we find beautiful sayings. I've just taken some excerpts from the Nalopakhyana. So, the pithy sayings like Vishishta Yoho Sambando hi Gunavan Bhavati. Uh, and Satu Tam Pratyaha. Here, the words used by the poet are very interesting. See, he says, this is the conversation between the Hamsa Pakshi and Damayanti. So, Damayanti says, Satu Tam Hamsam Prati Aha. He Nishkarana Bando Patagottama Yathasa Raja Mai Anukampeta Tata Tasminnapi Vyaharan. Vacha dharma mavapnuti. See how beautifully he brings out the dharma. He says, by talking to Nala and you may go and give him the message in such a way that he be interested only in me. And by saying so, he says, Damainti says to this one that you will get dharma. You will be earning dharma. Vacha dharma mavapnuti. So, and the address to hear to this one as Nishkarana Bando is also very interesting. We find such um, oh, affix, uh, such so we find such um, phrases even in other works where in the Mahabharata when uh, uh, the divine architect meets uh, Arjuna he's, Arjuna addresses him as uh, Vyasana Bandhu. So such uh, phrases are very interesting. And tat prabhave naiva balavad buttimatyapi tava avarode mama anirodo bahuva. So here we can see how the alliteration is used by the poet. Tat prabhave naiva balavad buttimatyapi tava avarode mama anirodho bahuva. And here also the alliteration in devasu tushtaha. Nalaya Tushtaha Nalaya Ashtau Varan Daduku Tushtaha and Ashtau. Next slide, please. Now, in the Dvitiya Bhaga, it begins with the return of the gods to heavens and their meeting with Kali and Dwapara who are unhappy, hearing the news of that Damainti married Nala and they vow to avenge uh, Nala. This path ends with Nala as Bahuka being employed by King Rutuparna as the superintendent of the horses. Now, the Veera Rasa depicted here is very beautiful. Saha Kalihi Sakrodha Nidamaha Ah! Tinetata Katham Tishtatsu Yushmasu Manusham Avrinita Sadrishta So this, this is the word, uh, these are the words of Kali and he is angry that uh, Damainti married Nala and he says, Katham Tishtatsu Vishmasu, even when you got for there, how is it that uh, Drishtasa Damayanti, how is that uh, Damayanti, she married that Manusha, uh, mere human? So, this is uh, this beautifully brings out the Veera Rasa there. And the description of Nala's intoxication for the game of dice is also beautifully given by the author. Kali Balena Mohitaha son, 
अनेन जेष्यामी अद्य जेष्यामी इति उपरि ग्लह ग्रहण व्यग्रह न अबुद्ध्यत प्रतिक्षणम क्षीयमानम आयु आयु संचयम इव आत्मनः कोष संचयम so a beautiful upamana is given where he says the nala did not even realize how he had lost all his wealth in from the kosha kosha sanchayam atmanah kshiyamanam ayush sanchayam eva just as every moment the life the uh, is lost so also the kosha sanchaya the wealth in the kosha was lost by nala yatha yatha chayam jiyate तथा तथा अस्य द्यूते अनुराग पिशाचिका वर्धते स्म एंड ही सेस दैट द्यूत प्लेइंग द गेम ऑफ डाइस वाज लाइक अ पिशाचिका व्हिच हैड अ कंज्यूम्ड और कंज्यूमेट हैड टेकन ओवर एंड द ग्रिप ऑफ ऑन लनाडा एंड दिस एवरी दो इट इज वेरी सिंपल द लैंग्वेज इज सिंपल एंड लूसिड इट इज वेरी इट इज व्हाट यू से वेरी beautiful and uh, the standard high standard with vyakarana is also seen so again sananta prakriyas and uh, kridantas and tadditas are beautifully employed by the author in various places pra- uh, prakshina praye cha sarvasve sa vaidardi pipatishati kule tishthantam iva asanna asanna vinipatam atmanam avadharya so just as a person who is Uh, about to fall in the pit she had uh, vaidarbi or damenti had realized that uh, nala could not be uh, drawn away from the game of dice and their end was so bad she had realized it and the word pipatishati kule is a sananta prakriya which is beautifully employed by the poet there next slide please and giving uh, coming to an end he again ends the work with a mangala shloka adi mangala and antya mangala are seen on, in almost all his uh, sangraha works he ends the nalopakhyana sangraha with the famous uh, morning stotra which is to be done karkotakasya nagasya damayantya nalasya cha rutuparnasya rajarshehe kirtanam alinashana next slide please so the pratasmarana stotra is the mangala shloka of nalopakhyana coming to bharata sangraha so before that i would like to add one more so this um, nalopakhyana the he also has mention of the terminally at the trees vibhitaka as to why it got uh, the name as kalihetu सो कृपालुना तेन विसृष्ट सह कलि सन्नीते तस्मिन् विबीतक वृक्षे प्रविवेश सो दिस विबीतक ट्री इन तमिल इज तांद्रिमरम इट इज टर्मिनेलिया वेलरिका एंड दिस ट्री हैज अ सिनोनिम कॉल दि कलि हेतु तत प्रभृति सह वृक्ष अमंगल कलि हेतु बबूवा सो दिस इज अनदर इंटरेस्टिंग फीचर of uh, lakshmana suri so wherever possible he will give the etymological meaning of the words themselves throughout in bharata sangraha and bhishma vijaya this is a characteristic mark of the author we can say there are many rare usages like uh, vyatiteshu ganaratreshu so may, when many series of nights are referred to he uses the word ganaratreshu which is uh, very peculiar even in the bharat sangraha and in bhishma vijaya such uh, words are found it's so coming to bharat sangraha again this has a wonderful uh, mangala shloka anugrahaya lokanam avatirnaya vishnave kleshapahaya krishnayah partha sarateye namaha so vastu nirdesha is also done by in the mangala shloka itself next slide please so about women he has high regard so in many places this is found a few have been cited here so here aham tu evam this is one place where in the adi parva kunti is saying this 
सो अहम तो एवं उभयोक सुख साधारणे अपत्ये स्वदोषेण निराश स्त्रिशंकुरीव निरालंब दीज आर् वर्ड्स ऑफ पांडू टू कुंती हि से I am uh, without a child. I feel I don't have any world. No, uh, so I am like Trishanku, not here, and not the other world is not there for one who has no child. So this is the belief. So he says, I am Trishanku even Iralamba ha samrutto asmi. Dharay aswamam kumsa ha kalpalata kalu trivarga palaprasuti hi grihini trinam nisarga siddha hi ni punata dakshata upayagnyata cha. so this is these are the words in words of uh, pandu the poet has given his opinion and also one more place we can see is in the eka chakra when um, kunti is with the uh, the five pandavas in incognito almost after uh, the wax uh, palace incident they are living in eka chakra and they hear the uh, the family who had given them shelter in uh, distress and kunti and uh, in that place the brahmana there says i cannot give um, send my wife to the bakasura there katham va trivarga samrajya lakshmim imam jaya upahara upaharayan krutagnah asya so again this reflects the opinion of the author about women and this was again found in nalopakyana sangraha औषधम so wife is at a time at the time of distress she is the divya ushada for a man uh, just as for aturasya for a man in illness only the aushada would work so also is the wife it's again a beautiful upamalankara here next here i would like to bring to the notice as to how lakshmana shastri gives various uh, terms of uh, verbs he uses the verbs and here he is describing the birth of the five pandavas and duryodhana also let's see sa tadanumatya vaivasvatam dharmarajam upasya tad anugrahena yudhishthirakyam putram asuta so kunti gave birth to yudhishthira um, praying dharmaraja Similarly, Vayoho Prasada Bhima Sena Kiam Putram Avindata. She got a son, Bhima, and Indra Prasada to Arjuna Kiam Lebhe. So different verbs are uh, used. The way of presentation, just as in the thesis, we say, do not use the same uh, verbs. It is differently presented. All these are the well presented by Lakshmana Shastri here. Pandoho Tasya Apara Bharya Madhyapi Tan Mantre Na Iva. आश्वी प्रसाद नकुल सहदेव सुत असूत सो इन बोथ दीज प्लेस लक्ष्मण सूरी प्रिफर्स असूत वैल गांधारी तो संवत्सर त्रय गर्भं धारयन कुंत्या ज्येष्ठ पुत्र जात यदा शुश्राव सो वे शी हर्ड वे गांधारी हर्ड दट कुंति गेव बर्थ टू दि एलस्ट स तदे तदाएव अमर्षेण स्व उदरम अश्मनाग्नति मांस पेशम असूयत सी द वर्ड असूयत सी बोथ नेक्स्ट स्लाइड प्लीज बोथ द वर्ब्स आर मीनिंग डेलीवर्ड असूत और असूयत आर बोथ मीनिंग डेलीवर्ड बट इन डिफरेंट दे आर फ्रॉम द डिफरेंट रूट वर्ब्स धातु शूं प्राणिगर्भ विमोचने it is from the adadi gana while shu is from divadi gana so that is why asuta and asuyata the ya is in divadi gana we have ya as uh, the suffix there and this is gives the suggestion that asuya she gave birth to asuya so that is the dwani there 
and the purpose of using asuyata for dhritarashtra uh, for uh, duryodhana who was full of asuya and he was an um, epitome of asuya itself so that is well brought out by the use of this verb asuyata by lakshmana suri so that is the beauty and uh, the panditya of lakshmana suri can be seen in every such occasion he will give the various verbs and the similar verbs are also used by him to show the difference as to where and which gana these two belong to next slide so again the rare usages when we see there are many like vita it is a word used for um, indicating a kanduka or a doll kupe patitam vitam ahartum ashaknuvantaha while describing the pandavas and kauravas playing with the ball the word vita is used and drona employs uh, sorry uh, bhishma employs drona as uh, their teacher and that uh, is again indicated by the word acharyakam he was employed as uh, he was as, uh, appointed in the on the in the post of assistant professor or professor's post so acharyakam that uh, that is beautiful and again in adi parva we see mahata वसु निधान उपयामकृष्ण इमं लोक तैजस विधा अवतर पुष्पवंतव चकासा आसतु हिर् इज द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ कृष्ण एंड बलराम हूम एंड दथर् सेस देवर् लाइक सूर्य एंड चंद्र कृष्ण एंड बल बलराम एंड कृष्ण वेर् लाइक सन् एंड दि मून सो दिस पुष्पवंत इन अमरकोश वि हव ekoktya pushpavantau divakara nishakaro so such usages are also plenty in lakshmana shastri's works next slide please ah this work bharata sangraha ends with a beautiful bhagavad dandaka i told you there are 18 parvas and the last is the bhagavad dandaka and the author seems to be very much devoted to krishna wherever he gets a chance he gives uh, the stotra on krishna this is one occasion uh, ending of mahabharata he gives a beautiful dandaka pratishtitam sve mahimanya gamyam mano hiram kevala bhakti gamyam ananta kalyana guna divasam harim prapadye sharanam sharanyam and this dandaka is similar to that of garuda dandaka of vedanta deshika jay jay bhagavan mahakalpa viplavi kallola kalloli nivalla valla bhollola kallola pariplavasviya bhakta plava bandha sandha krute divya matsa matsya krute mandaro dvarta nirvritta kandu sukhashthila prishtha pratishtha kshama pitha karma kshama कुंठकूर्माते लीलोदस्तरा मुस्तूदार विश्वभर क्रूर दैत्येन्द्र वक्षस्तटोत्टनोत्टि रक्ताचंडद्युते नार सिंहाते इट गोज नेक्स्ट लाइट प्लीज एंड इन द लास्ट वी कैन सी कृष्णा कृष्णकुविंदाताग्रह श्रीपते सत्य भामापते शक्रभू सारथे एंड दि वर्ड्स वि सी हौ पार्थ सारथी इज रीप्लेस बै शक्रभू सारथे पार्थ इज अर्जुन अर्जुन इज सन् ऑफ इंद्र सो दट इज ब्यूटिफुली गिवन हियर एज शक्रभू सारथे एंड इट गोज ऑन जय जय सुराज नीलोपल श्यामल एंड सो ऑन दृष्ट्वा गीता काम वेदाता संहृत संपातहारिने भूया कृष्ण मेघाय मंगल ई एम जस्ट गिविंग अ बर्ड ऐ व्यू ऑफ दि वर्क एंड दोयटिक स्किल ऑफ लक्ष्मण सूरी हियर ईच वर्क हेज सो मच दट वी नीड वन आर् और मोर टू टाक अबउट दम नेक्स्ट लाइट so moving on to bhishma vijaya in next few minutes i think i'll just take another 5 to 10 minutes sir 
so the bhishma vijaya as already said mahamahopadhyaya lakshmana suri the poet author as the soying goes pratibha navanavonmesha shalini wanted to set a new trend in prose writings of sanskrit literature the prose sanskrit is generally regarded to be a test to all poets gadyam kavinam nikasham vadanti and hence it is stirs and laborious to read the sanskrit prose works in contrast to the tradition of sanskrit prose works lakshmana suri wanted to inaugurate a new era in sanskrit prose literature by supplying a real want in that field giving a connected history or account in idiomatic and easy prose of eminent personages and characters in the ancient history of bharata this was in analogy of the english men of letters and other similar series in the west thus the author designed a series of prose works each devoted to a historical personage or character collaborating and collecting all the incidents and materials regarding them in a connected form which are found scattered at different places or are to be gathered from various and different sources thus the author has rightly chosen bhishma as the first personage in the series as his indomitable military prowess and notable firmness and fierce vow of selfless self sacrifice kept on at the great odds the very end of his life are indeed remarkable to give him the first place is sufficient to justify the author in making bhishma his first choice as the hero similar accounts of vidura janaka shuka agastya and others were in contemplation which the author had proposed to place before the audience in due course unfortunately we do not have even the vidura charita which is said to be authored by him and which was to be published in sahridaya is not available now but the bhishma vijaya alone in this series is available next slide the work is in eight uchvasas bhishma pradudbhava bhishma uh, bhishmatva labha bhishma vikrama vrata sthema bhishma upanyasa swachhanda mrutyuta prakashanam and upadesha sangraha and the last one swargaroha next slide so i would just give a, a one or a few excerpts from bhishma vijaya the mangala shloka next slide please is beautiful yena kamascha kalascha nigrihitau sudurgraha saiste sarvalokanam naumi tam rajashekaram so this is a beautiful verse giving the vastu nirdesha of the work uh, the mangala shloka is very clear yena kamascha kalascha nigrihito so by whom both kama manmatha and kala that is uh, mrityu both nigrihito were conquered so durgra durgraha so this one which is unconquerable was conquered sa ishte he rules over the word lokana naumi tam rajashekaram so i salute that lord shiva who had um done the manmata dahana and who is called mrityunjaya i salute lord shiva so next slide please the rajashekara also is chandrashekara as the amara says raja mridanke kshatriye nripeit yamaraha and the other meaning also is applicable to bhishma who had conquered both kama and kala that is he had swachhanda Uh, mrityu and so he is the conqueror of death so both are being saluted here in the bhishma in the mangala shloka indicating the vastu of the work so it's a beautiful shlesha and the mastery of uh, lakshmana shastri is very evident next slide now a uh, some of the incidents here is satyavati is telling yudhishthira of her past and bhishma so about women a beautiful yes uh, can you put the screen a little above so that it's vis- visible it's not very clear the last line is it okay a uh, little more you will have to go down okay um okay then we'll go on to the next slide so again here he says how 
women are uh, very much respectable and uh, in the words of the poet next slide please we have already seen that so we'll go to the next <coughs> next slide yeah so here we have the adi parva satyavati to her past uh, bhishma and she says Yatkila, yeah, uh, here you can see. Tatha, Ataha, Putra itik Krutva, Tvayi, Visrambhat, Idam, Abidiyate. So she says, as a son, I consider you as my son and I would like to share my secret with you. And she says about her past. Hearing this, what Bhishma replies is very important. Iti, Ityuchishi swam guroho mahishi sa bahumanam ababhashe saha bishmaha. Ai mataha kimtvam bhagavataha vedavyasa siya janani purusha rupena vigrahavan amnayohi saha mahamunihi. See, he says, Are you, are you the mother of that great sage Vedavyasa who has uh, segregated the Vedas and if you are so, Purusha Rupena Vigraha Van Amnayohi Saha Mahamunihi Tasya Matratvena Manye Bhavatim Asmakam Bhagade. It is, he says, it is our Bhagade, a great fortune that you have come to our Kula and you have made it, you have purified our Kula. Pavitam Kalu Asmat Kulam, he says. So that is how he gives uh, his consent to uh, for the Niyoga. Next slide. And he says, please go on. You may call Veda Vyasa and uh, our Kula can have its go. Now, next slide, please. Coming to Argha Pradana, which is very beautiful. Again, in the Sabha Parva, Argabi Harna Parva is the 36th Adhyaya in the Sabha Parva. And that is beautifully brought here by uh, Lakshmana Suri. So again, when the condensing, uh, the art of condensing the whole story is also seen in this place. Atha Vichitra Virya Kshetre Viryam Adadhanasya Vyasasya Prasadena Punar Ankurite Shantanavor Vamshe Samud Bhuta Bhyam Dartarashtra Pandu Bhyam. So he, he has in two lines condensed all that has happened and he says how the Pandavas and Dhritarashtras were ruling the two kingdoms which were uh, Vibhajya Rajya Munjaneshu Jatuchit Avasare Rajasuya Kratum Kratu Kratum Aharanaha. Raja Yudhishthiraha Prapte Agra Puja Kale. So he just brings it to the place where Agra Puja is to be given. This is in the Bhishma Vijaya because he is also given details in the Mahabharata Sangraha itself. So while dealing this aspect where Bhishma's character has to be brought out, he is very brief and he condenses the whole story in few lines. So that is the art of Lakshmana Suri. So again here, Raja Yudhishthiraha Prapte Adra Puja Kale. So when Adra Puja had to be done, Yudhishthira asks Pitamaha, Hey Pitamaha, Bruhi Arhatamam Yam Pratamam Arhayayam Iti Bhishmam Papracha. So Pitasmai Vyacha, Vyacha Chakshe Vatsa Yudhishthira Swayam Abhignyaha Yeva Asi Arhantam Avadharya Yathavad Arhayitum. Tathapi asmat sabhavana asmat sambhavanaya evam chodayasi. So again, Bhishma is um, so appreciative of Yudhishthira's. Do you know what is to be done? This is again the reflection of Shishpalavada, Maga, uh, Maga Shishpalavada's words. Uh, Atmanai vagunadosha. Atmanaiva Gunadosha Tatva Yenna Vet Guruna Pritchasi Tatha Vet 
sorry. Again, it reflects Maga's words that though Yudhishthira knew everything, he is asking Bhishma. So this is another instance of revealing Bhishma's bhakti to Krishna. So starting from here, he says, Vatsa Yudhishthira, Nanu, Vridhasevi Kalu Bhavan, Anena, Prasiddhena Pavitavyacha Me Jihwa. He says, Anena, Pavayitavyachame jihva. By telling who the person is, he says, I would like to purify my own words. Tirthopapadita hi gauhu gauriva pratipadakam shreyasa yojayati. Ataha shuyatam yoyam tejasvi mandala mandite asmin sadashi shashankaiva nabasi. And he goes on for two pages describing the greatness of Lord Krishna. So again we see. Uh, the author's devotion towards Krishna is reflected in these uh, descriptions. Next slide, please. So, the Bhishma Vijaya again ends with a stotra to Krishna in the form of a dandaka. I would like to read the dandaka. So, here it is where uh, the author is again an expert in the dandaka form of stotra which uh, is uh, influence of Vedanta Deshika is evident. So, Anjali Putena Anena Stavarajena Tushtava. So, when Bhishma is in his Antima Yatra ascending to the Swarga, he is praying to Lord Krishna. Pahi Pahi Bhagavan Parama Purusha Mahapurusha Purushottama Aparimita Chintaniyaha and it goes on and on. A dandaka in two pages and it ends thus. Iti Stuvanneva Brahma Randrena Paranjyoti Swarupaha Samuthaya Divam Arohan Yathapuram Sve Vasave Pade Chakasa Masa. So this is how Bhishma gave up his life. The Brahma Randra being opened and Praying to Lord Krishna, he ascends to the heavens and ends, thus ends the Bhishma Vijaya. Jay to Jay to Jay to Divyam Dhamma Krishna Bidhanam. Jay to Jay to Bhishma Satya Dharma Vratatma. Jay to Jay to Dharmya Paddhatissa Dugamya. Jay to Jay to Sumati Namvati Taraswata Shri. I would also end this uh, talk on Lakshmana Suri. I thank the organizers, the Sanskrit Academy and everyone here for the patient listening. Thank you very much, sir. <clears throat> so, excellent uh, talk really by Dr. Ramuna Devi. And um, we heartily appreciate and congratulate you for this stupendous work that you have done. And uh, before uh, formally uh, we propose the word of thanks, I would request Professor Tyagarajan to say a few words because he has um, seen most of the works of Professor Lakshmana Suri as he has guided a scholar on this subject. Professor Tyagarajan? Sir, you are not audible, sir. No, you are not audible, sir. Sir, you are not audible. We are not able to hear you. Do you have any problem with the uh, network, Professor Jayarajan, sir? Let me see. Let me see. 
Now, yes, sir. Okay. See, as the, the speaker said, the lesson story cannot be just uh, completely uh, projected within an hour. He is not an ordinary scholar. He, not only he is well read. That is, uh, see, most of the Sanskrit scholars. They may speak from part of uh, Ramayana, Mahabharata, and other things. And Lakshman Suri has fully read Ramayana, Mahabharata, and even Neshada, and he has brought out this agraha. That means see how much time he should have taken. Apart from this, his uh, vocabulary, as we used to say, that Shakespeare commands a lot of uh, words. He commands a lot of words. And uh, he is more or less a grammarian, and he knows that to use. And uh, as the speaker rightly said, he uses the words. For example, Azuvieta. So that uh, gives the what you call the dwani of Azuya. So if you look into his writings like this, in this angle, you will get lot of dwanis. So you can enjoy like anything, and his prose is very. It is very very difficult to write prose. We know that only Banamata could shine well. Even uh, Subandhu has miserably failed due to some uh, slashes. But he is Abhinav Banamata. He can, he writes very well. And apart from that, his intention to comment on certain things. So that means he has felt. That in some some places, in some for some works, he has to necessarily make commentaries. Otherwise, the real output of the original writing will not come out. That was his uh, intention. That's the reason why he has attempted on commentary. She was uh, telling that uh, the ne next to Malinata, Lakshman Suri has to be definitely recognized as the best commentator. So the, all that. He, um, he has deserved, of course, he enjoyed all the titles also, all these things. And uh, during his time, generally, the great writers do not enjoy uh, the praises during the uh, time of their survival. Only after the uh, posthumously, only they enjoy. But Lakshman Suri enjoyed everything. And uh, his background is very good. His association with the Acharyas are very good. And um, all the muds, both uh, um, Ganchi mud and also Sungiri mud, recognized him as the best scholar. So, uh, a real uh, scholar regarding the real scholar she has uh, spoken today and made uh, known to the public that he has contributed a lot and uh, who hails from uh, Trinalveli. That is also there. So, from uh, the Tom Robertini water is there for him. So, uh, I think uh, the uh, Dr. Yamuna Devi has done full justice to the topic she has taken and uh, excellently projected the short story. See, what else I can say? So, what the short story, perhaps uh, if he had been there here, um, he would have enjoyed. Oh, because Yakyata Veti, no Kavihi. So he himself is a Vyakyata. When another Vyakyata makes a Vyakyana about his own his works, definitely you would have enjoyed. Oh, so many things are there in my writing. That way you would have also enjoyed, I think. So a good uh, presentation of the lecture today. I congratulate the speaker, Dr. Ayamana Devi. Thank you, sir. Balu, I finished. Yes, B, sir.
I say audible. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. So, with the uh, blessings of Professor Tiagarajan, I think uh, Yamuna Devi has been doubly blessed today to read the writings of uh, Mahamavadhyaya Lakshmana Suri. <clears throat> Itself was a great blessing and to receive the blessings of the senior uh, professor, Tiagarajan sir. Itself is really great. <clears throat> and he is uh, really a connoisseur. And uh, he has helped so many scholars and the youngsters also. So Professor um, Yamuna Devi, as, uh, as Professor Tiagarajan said, done justice to her topic and um, the pain or the dedication that we could see when she prepared the materials <clears throat> is remarkable. Even I told her, why well, should you strain so much to find out the death, you know, year of Mahamavadhyaya, Lakshmana Suri? Because NCC now has to be corrected. Even I was telling, those days somebody did and they have copied that. So it says 1919. But whereas now she has found out going to the Hindu and getting the obituary note, it is only 1928 when uh, Professor Lakshmana Suri passed away. And she was able to bring out even the personal traits of uh, Professor Lakshmana Suri and his greatness uh, in composing not only poem or Alankara Shastra, Vyakarana, and his expertise in um, many branches of um, Sanskrit. Of course, she left yoga and all that. The finally, she said, Brahma Randra. <laughs> and uh, then Jyotishi, you know. Patanjali says, Murda Jyotishi, Siddha Darshanam. So, that's how he left the body also, Vishma. Uh, anyway, just for your uh, information, Jai Tude Tude Vo Devaki Nandano, Vishin Kulasekara, Gundamala. So, he has um, taken as example so many uh, previous Kavis and Acharyas like Vedanta Deshika and others, and also Mukunda Malas of um, Kula Shekara. And just for your information, the word Vita appears as such in Mahabharata also. It is a, just a piece of uh, wood. You know, that uh, similar to what I think the same, like what we, they play, Gilli Dand in Tamil, in uh, North India, they call it Gilli Danda. So it is a small uh, peg, small uh, a uh, wooden piece with which they were playing. It fell in the uh, bell, which of course Drona was able to bring it out. So this is uh, there and then of course the ring was there and all that. So that uh, board appears in Mahabharata also and um, all other uh, observations by Dr. Emuna Devi, the way she enjoyed in reading the text as well as presenting it in such a wonderful manner. I think many of the young research scholars who have listened to it, as well as who are going to see it in the YouTube, uh, in which we will be uploading a talk very shortly, uh, would be finding it very useful how to organize a talk, as well as how to write a research article. So this is a wonderful specimen or an example how one should prepare or get ready all the materials from different sources and we really congratulate uh, and appreciate wholeheartedly Dr. Yamuna Devi for her excellent uh, talk and the painstaking study that she has undertaken. And um, on behalf of the Samskrit Academy, I thank the members of the Krishna Swami Ayer family because they are the pillars of not only Madras Sanskrit College, so many organizations in and around Chennai and um, without whose support, many institutions would not be surviving till date. And um, they are responsible for this endowment. And this year, we had a very good lecture on um, Lakshmana Suri. I remember Professor Tyagarajan himself talked on the uh, uh, poet Someshwara and other poets say many, many years ago, maybe some 30, 35 years ago, we attended his talk in Kumsam Sath Research Institute which KC, the great K. Chandrasekhar was also listening to and enjoying lecture Katha Sarit Sagara of Sobhishra. He talked about it. I remember very well. So, Yamuna Devi, Madam, you have done a very good job. We are thankful to you. We thank all the scholars 
and uh, all any personal questions you can always ask uh, dr remuna devi and some of the chats i found that a uh, lot of uh, praises or encomiums or appreciations were coming forth from the scholars who attended this and i my personal request to all of you is please watch this in youtube and subscribe to ksri and uh, then mark the like just press the like button so that many people may like such lectures organized by sanskrit academy as well as the ksri and uh, we thank all of you once again for taking sir, your there is time. one question sorry for the interruption sir one question in the chat box asking whether this lakshmana suri and yeah, that. Uh, the lakshmana suri of champu ramayana is the yeah. same it is a uh, they are both different uh, lakshmana suris i would just like to tell that and rishi naam punaradya naam vacham arthonu javati is uh, what i would like to say about what uh, you have said about me and tyagaraj and sir i take it as that thank you sir thank you very much <laughs> thank you so much <laughs> and um, please again i request you to uh, mark the or the press the like button in the youtube for all our program thank you very much let us meet in the next lecture we shall be contacting you all with the next program thank you very much good night